Dead Moroz, Russian, Dead Moroz, Dead Moroz, D. M. Ros, Belarusian, Jed Moroz, Jed Moroz, Ukrainian, Did Moroz, Did Moroz, Russian Diminutive Russian, Daduska Moroz, Dadushka Moroz, Serbo Croatian, DJ Moraz, Dead Moraz, also Morisko, Russian, Morisko is a fictional character similar to that of Father Christmas and Santa Claus and has its roots in Slavic mythology. The tradition of Dead Moroz is mostly spread in East Slavic countries. The literal translation is, Grandfather Frost, but depending on the language it can also be translated as, Old Man Frost. Dead Moroz is depicted as bringing presents to well-mannered children, often delivering them in person on New Year's Eve. In East Slavic cultures, Dead Moroz is accompanied by Snegorochka, Russian, Snegoroka Snegorochka, Ukrainian, Snigoronka Snehoronka, Snow Maiden his granddaughter and helper, who wears long silver-blue robes and a furry cap or a snowflake-like crown. She is a unique attribute of Dead Moroz, since similar characters in other cultures do not have a female companion, Dead Moroz wears a heel-length fur coat, a semi-round fur hat, and Valenki on his feet. He has a long white beard. He walks with a long magic staff and often rides a troika. The residence of Dead Moroz in Russia is considered to be the town of Veliki Ustig, Vologda Oblast. The residence of the Belarusian Jeed Moroz is said to be in Belovezskaya Pushcha. Development of the character The origins of the character of Dead Moroz predates Christianity as a Slavic wizard of winter, in some books he is a son of Slavic pagan gods Velez and Mara. According to some sources in Slavic mythology, Frost or Morisko is a snow demon. However, before the Christianity of Rus, the term demon had no negative connotation. Like with many other mythical figures only over time demons were attributed negative characteristics. Under the influence of Orthodox traditions, the character of Dead Moroz was transformed. Since the 19th century the attributes and legend of Dead Moroz have been shaped by literary influences. The play Snegorochka by Alexander Ostrovsky was influential in this respect, as was Rimsky-Korsakov's Snegorochka with libretto based on the play. By the end of the 19th century Dead Moroz became a popular character. Following the Russian Revolution, Christmas traditions were actively discouraged because they were considered to be bourgeois and religious. Similarly, in 1928 Dead Moroz was declared an ally of the priest and kulak. Nevertheless, the image of Dead Moroz took its current form during Soviet times, becoming the main symbol of the New Year's holiday Novi God, that replaced Christmas. Some Christmas traditions were revived following the famous letter by Pavel Postyshev, published in Pravda on December 28, 1935. Postyshev believed that the origins of the holiday, which were pre-Christian, were less important than the benefits it could bring to Soviet children. In modern Russia Dead Moroz is very popular in modern Russia. In 1998, the town of Veliki Ustig in Vologda Oblast, Russia was declared the home of the Russian Dead Moroz by Yuri Luzhkov, then mayor of Moscow. Between 2003 and 2010, the post office in Veliki Ustig received approximately 2 million letters from within Russia and from all over the world for Dead Moroz. On January 7, 2008, then-President Putin of the Russian Federation visited Dead Moroz residence in the town of Veliki Ustig as part of the Russian Orthodox Christmas Eve celebration. The Western Santa Claus made inroads in the Russian Federation during the turbulent 1990s when Western culture increased its penetration into the post-Soviet Russia. The resurgence of Russia in the early 21st century brought about a renewed emphasis on the basic Slavic character of Dead Moroz, this included the Russian Federation and subordinate governments sponsoring courses about Dead Moroz every December, with the aim of establishing appropriate Slavic norms for Dead Moroz and Snegorochka. Snow Maiden. Dead Moroz. Granddaughter, roles for the New Year holiday. People playing Dead Moroz and Snegorochka now typically make appearances at children parties during the winter holiday season, distributing presents and fighting off the wicked witch, Baba Yaga, who children are told wants to steal the gifts. In November and December 2010, Dead Moroz was one of the candidates in the running for consideration as a mascot for the 2014 Winter Olympics in Sochi, Russia.
Variations of dead Moros in ethnic minority groups of Russia Many ethnic minorities have for linguistic reasons other names for dead Moros or even have their own culture equivalent counterparts to dead Moros. For example, in Bashkir and Tatar, dead Moros is known as wise Babaj, cheese babe, literally, winter old man. In Nenets he is known as Yamal Iri, grandfather of Yamal. The Yakut indigenous people have their own counterpart to dead Moros, which is called cheese Khan, master of cold. International relations of dead Moros Dead Moros, and on occasion the Belarus D. Zeg Moros, are presented in the media as being an ongoing detente with various counterparts from other cultures, such as the Estonian Santa Claus, Julubana or Old Man of Christmas, the Finnish Santa Claus, Julapuki or Yule Goat, and other Santa Claus, Father Christmas, and Saint Nicholas figures. Some people also say, that Dead Moros is Santa Claus's grandfather. The détente efforts portrayed have included one-on-one -on -one meetings, group meetings and friendly competitions, such as the annual November Santa Claus Championships of Selat, Germany. The traditional meeting of Russian dead Moros and Finnish Julapuki was held in 2015 despite political isolation of Russia in the West because of Ukraine conflict. GLONASS tracks dead Moros in November 2009, for the first time, the Russian Federation offered competition to NORAD Tracks Santa with GLONASS Tracks Dead Moros, which purports to use GLONASS Global Navigation Satellite System or the Russian GPS to track dead Moros on New Year's Eve, according to the Gregorian calendar. The Russian language website, a language not currently offered by the competing NORAD Tracks Santa, includes these features. Real-time tracking of dead Moros. News. Of dead Moros throughout the year, a form to send email to dead Moros, photos, videos, streaming audio of Russian songs, poems and verses from children's letters to dead Moros, information on Veliki Ustig in Vologda Oblast, considered to be dead Moros's hometown, and opportunities to enter competitions and win prizes. Regional differences and controversies There are equivalents of dead Moros and Snagorochka all over the former USSR, as well as the countries once in the so-called Eastern Bloc and in the former Yugoslavia. After the dissolution of the Soviet Union, some of these countries made efforts to move away from Soviet and Russian heritage toward their own ancient traditions. Azerbaijan in Azerbaijani, dead Moros is known as Saxta Baba, Grandfather Frost, and his companion Snagorochka is known as Qar Kizi, Snow Girl. In the predominantly Muslim but secular country, where Christians are a very small minority, this tradition remains very popular. Saxta Baba brings gifts to children at New Year celebrations, however Qar Kizi is rarely present at the festivities. Belarus. Dead Moros is DZ Moroz Belarusian. Jed Moroz. In Belarusian language, he is not a historical folkloric Belarusian character. The official residence of DZ Moroz in Belarus is declared to be in Bialowiza Forest. Bulgaria The Bulgarian name of Santa Claus is Dado Koleda, Diado Koleda, Grandfather Koleda, with Diado Moraz Dado, Grandfather Frost being a similar Russian imported character lacking the Christian connotations and thus popular during communist rule. However, he has been largely forgotten since 1989, when Diado Koleda again returned as the more popular figure. Former Yugoslavia In socialist Yugoslavia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Croatia, the Republic of Macedonia, Montenegro, Serbia and Slovenia, the character who was said to bring gifts to children was called Grandfather Frost. Bosnian, DJ Moraz, DJ Moraz or DJ Eda Moraz, DJ de Moraz Croatian, DJ Moraz, Macedonian, Dado Moraz, Dado Moraz, Serbian, Dida Moraz, Dida Moraz, Slovenian, Dedic Moraz. 
He was said to bring gifts for the new year because public celebration of Christmas was frowned upon during communism. In Croatia after the breakup of Yugoslavia, DJ Mraz was labeled communist creation and DJ Bozichnik literally. Grandfather Christmas was introduced. Attempts were made in the mass media and advertising to replace DJ Mraz with DJ Bozichnik. After 1999 the names of DJ Mraz and DJ Bozichnik became more or less synonymous, including in their use on public television. In some families DJ Mraz is still said to bring gifts at New Year. In Croatia, children also get presents on December 6. Due to historical influence of Austrian Kulior in parts of Croatia, presents are also said to be brought by a traditional figure called Sveti Nikola. Saint Nicholas who closely resembles DJ Mraz or DJ Bozichnik, except for the fact that he is accompanied by Krampus who takes misbehaving children away, another character from Central European folklore. In some religious families, Little Jesus Isusik, Mali Isus, Kriskindl, is said to bring gifts at Christmas instead of DJ Bozichnik. Also, in some parts of Dalmatia the gifts are brought by Sveta Lucija. Saint Lucy. In Slovenia, the name Ded Moroz was translated from Russian as Dedek Moraz, literally, Grandpa Frost. Dedek Moraz is depicted as a slim man wearing a gray leather coat, which has fur inside and is decorated outside, and a round dormouse fur cap. This version of the character is based on traditional imagery, especially as depicted by Maxim Gaspari in images commissioned in 1952. Although the name was translated literally from the Soviet figure, other names for the character were also considered, Snezeni Maz, the Snow Man, and Oca Triglov, Daddy Triglov. A female figure named Babaka Zima, Grandma Winter, was also proposed. Initially he was said to live in Siberia, but with the Informbureau crisis and the schism between Yugoslavia and the Soviet Union his home was relocated to Mount Triglov, Slovenia. S and also Yugoslavia's highest peak. Public processions featuring the character began in Ljubljana in 1953. The notion of Grandpa Frost was ideologically useful because it served to reorient the December-January holidays away from religion, St. Nicholas Day and Christmas, and towards the secular New Year. After the ousting of communism at the beginning of the 1990s, two other good old men as they are currently styled in Slovenian, reappeared in public, Michaelis. Saint Nicholas is said to bring presents on December 6, and Bozicek. Christmas Man, usually depicted as Santa Claus, on Christmas Eve. Saint Nicholas has had a strong traditional presence in Slovenian ethnic territory and his feast day remained celebrated in family circles throughout the communist period. Until the late 1940s it was also said in some areas of Slovenia that Christkind called Jezicic, Little Jesus, or Bozicek brought gifts on Christmas Eve. Slovenian families have different preferences regarding their gift giver of choice, according to political or religious persuasion. Slovenian popular culture depicts Grandpa Frost, Saint Nicholas and Santa Claus as friends and has also started blending attributes of the characters, for example, mention of Santa's reindeer is sometimes mingled into the Grandpa Frost narrative at public appearances. Due to his non-religious character and strong institutionalization, Grandpa Frost continues to retain a public presence. Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan Ayaz Ata is the Kazakh and Kyrgyz name for Dead Moroz. Poland While there is no traditional analogue of Dead Moroz in Polish folklore, there was an attempt to introduce him as Geodic Moroz during the communist period. Communists, opposed to religion in general, considered Christmas and traditional Święte Mikolaj Saint Nicholas, ideologically hostile. Therefore, propaganda attempted to replace him with Geodic Moroz. Authorities often insisted on using the figure in schools and preschools during celebrations and events for children. This was also supposed to create an illusion of cultural links with the Soviet Union. Romania in 1948, after the communists gained power in Romania, it was decided that Christmas should not be celebrated. December 25 and December 26 became working days and no official celebrations were to be held. As a replacement for Mos Krachun, Father Christmas, a new character was introduced, Mos Jerila, literally, 
Old Man Frosty, a Romanian language adaptation of the Russian Dead Moroz. He was said to bring gifts to children on December 31st. Officially, the New Year's Day celebrations began on 30 December, which was named the Day of the Republic, since it was the day when King Mihai I of Romania abdicated in 1947. After the Romanian Revolution of 1989, Mos Gerila lost his influence, being replaced by Mos Crăciun. Saka Republic Cheese Khan is known as the Master of Cold, accompanied by the snow maiden Karchana. Tajikistan In Tajikistan the tradition of dead moros has continued. In Tajik, dead moros is known as Bobwa Barfi, grandfather snow, and Snagorachka is called Barfak, snowball. In 2012, a young man dressed as dead moros was stabbed to death in Dushanbe by a crowd shouting, You infidel! The murder was motivated by religious hatred, according to the Tajik police. On the 11th of December 2013, Saidali Sidikov, the first deputy head of the Committee for TV and Radio Broadcasting under the government of Tajikistan, announced in an interview that Father Frost, his maiden sidekick Snagorachka, maiden snow, and New Year's tree will not appear on the state television this year, because these personages and attributes bear no direct relation to our national traditions, though there is no harm in them. However next day this was denounced, and planned celebrations did include these despite objections of some religious figures. Ukraine in 2014, Ukraine has attempted to replace Dead Moroz with St. Nicholas, Svatoj Mikola Sviati Mykolai, which is more popular in western Ukraine, as reported by Russian media. Uzbekistan In 2012, Uzbekistan, a largely Muslim nation, moved away from celebrating Christmas and its historical characters. See also References External links Just Don't Call Me Santa A History of Dead Moraz in English Father Frost, the Red Nose on Russia Info Center Reveling in Russian Santa's Fairy Tale Home Home page All of the Dead's Moroz in Russian Glonass tracks dead moros in Russian. Coat of arms of dead moros in Russian.